A former Itagwini mayor, Zandi Legumete, is back at the Durban High Court this morning. She and 21 others are facing fraud and corruption charges, and the court heard evidence from the head of the City Integrity and Investigation Unit, that's Mbuso Ngobo. Well, he says his unit learned of the alleged fraud when a whistleblower left documentary evidence uh, rather at reception. Now, Gumete facing these charges relating to a dodgy solid water tender worth uh, 300 million rand, our senior Reporter Desin Tathia watching this case very closely and joining us for the very latest. Desin, good morning to you. What, what can you tell us on the ground? What's expected today? Well, Tumelo, remember on Friday, court didn't sit. That's because there was an adjournment on Thursday. So just to remind our viewers, when we were, when we were here on Thursday, that was the cross-examination of the state's first witness, Buso Ngobo. He's the head of the CIIU the city's integrity and investigation unit and it was that unit that sparked the investigation and ultimately got the criminal case to and and you know eventually got this matter to court it was because of that bundle of documents that we've been hearing about that landed up at the reception area of the CIIU's offices which eventually then led to these to that forensic investigation so Mbuso Ngobo was on the stand and during that cross examination by advocate Jay Naidu he was asked for what would have been an internal report. So just to understand the sequence of events, after that bundle of documents was received, that was then assessed by the CIIU's own assessors. And eventually, it was handed over to an external company, IFS, which did the forensic investigation. But the defense asking, where was the interim, or rather the internal report that would have been drafted, that would have called for that external investigation to take place and that's where everything stalled on Thursday there was time that was given to that first witness to call his office to try to secure that document but that didn't happen eventually there was a postponement which brought us to today and that's when we expected to see whether it will continue but Tamela I want to bring in a guest now attorney Simon Sema from uh, via zoom he'll join us and i want to talk a little bit more mr Seymour, about forensic investigations it seems to be the central point of this trial that we are seeing now and we once again are seeing the importance of these taking place in uncovering acts of alleged fraud and corruption so if you could just brief us uh, basically on on these investigations and how intensive they are especially in dealing with matters like this one Okay. Yes. Unfortunately, we can't uh, seem to hear Simon there. Apologies for that, uh, Desen Thathia. That conversation equally important, and I'm sure we'll try and get a hold of uh, Simon uh, just so that you can proceed with your line of questioning. But, uh, Desen, uh, if you're still there with us, I mean, uh, just take us through perhaps, uh, just in terms of court proceedings, uh, what else is expected in this particular case involving Zandilo Kumeta and uh, 21 co accused? Well, Tabello, so this being the first witness, remember there's going to be a long process with this witness alone because the cross-examination has only barely started. The state had opened its case last week and at the time it had said that it had more than 100 witnesses that it was potentially going to call. And this was a number of officials that were from the Etikbini municipality. We're talking about people that were involved in the forensic investigation as well. But Besides the state calling up these witnesses, remember they need to be cross-examined by what is essentially a panel, a legal team that we're talking about, a number of representatives because of the number of accused that we have here. So it's certainly going to be a long process. We need to see today whether that document was, uh, will in fact be handed over. The last I checked with the defense, they had not yet received a copy of that report that they wanted and that is going to be crucial and intricate part of the questioning that is going to take place so hinged on that we'll also have to find out today whether they whether that cross-examination will continue or if there will be yet another delay